Whether it's boysenberry in your muffin, hazelnut in your coffee, blue cheese in your salad dressing, or spearmint in your chewing gum, the source is usually a prepared flavoring. Food and drink makers typically approach a flavorings company to custom design and produce whatever flavor they need. Not only do flavorings companies produce ingredients for commercial use, they also manufacture standalone flavoring products for retail sale, such as those syrups you squirt into coffee, fountain drinks, and other beverages. In the company's research and development laboratory, flavor chemists create each recipe drawing from an elaborate arsenal of ingredients. If they're designing an orange flavoring, for example, they might combine orange essence and orange peel with extracts from other citrus fruits, tweaking the proportions until they achieve exactly the taste they're after. This chemist is designing flavoring for a soft drink. He pours a specific amount of his trial recipe into water, then carbonates the mix by adding pressurized carbon dioxide. Then he bottles the drink and sends it to the client for approval. Once the client gives the okay, plant technicians mix a production formula, following very precise weights and measures set out in the recipe. Once they combine the formula's key ingredients, they add them to liquid fillers such as fruit juice and water, and solvents such as ethanol. The solvents trigger molecular changes which transform the oil-soluble key ingredients into a water-soluble state. Without this conversion, the finished flavoring would simply float on top of any liquid to which it's added. At several points throughout the process, the company's quality control lab performs an array of tests to assess color, flavor, viscosity, and other characteristics. The last ingredients to go into the production formula, when the recipe calls for them, are colorings. Sometimes a client wants a powdered flavoring rather than a liquid one. So chemists develop a liquid recipe that a machine called a spray dryer can process into a powder. In the production plant, workers pour the required quantity of production formula into a large processing kettle. They add whatever additional ingredients the recipe may call for and, if required, heat the mix. If they're making a powdered flavoring, then from the kettle, they pour the liquid into a mixer containing water, gums and starches. These keep all the ingredients evenly blended. Then they open a hatch and drop the mix directly into the spray dryer. The machine uses high pressure to transform the liquid into a fine mist, then heat to dry the mist into powder particles. They put the powder into a machine called a ribbon blender and add whatever dry ingredients the flavoring recipe calls for. The mixing blades slowly blend all the powders together. The plant sends a sample from the blender to the quality control lab. Among other tests, lab technicians put the sample under a microscope to analyze the particle size, which indicates how thoroughly the ingredients are blended. Exiting the ribbon blender, the finished flavoring passes through a vibrating screen, a magnet, and a metal detector. The packaging equipment weighs a specific quantity and dispenses it into cartons lined with polyethylene. A suction hose vacuums what dusts up in the process because airborne powder is an explosion hazard. The plant sends a sample from every batch it produces back to the lab. Trained testers smell and taste the sample and compare it to the model lab batch. The testers flag any production sample that's even the slightest bit off the mark, in which case they alert the flavor chemists who then diagnose and fix the problem. This procedure, along with the various quality control measures throughout the production process, ensure taste consistency which is absolutely critical whether the prepared flavoring is an ingredient in a commercially produced food or beverage or a retail flavoring that you squirt into or sprinkle onto a drink or snack.